Hello, Aries. Just a sec. I forgot. I had my gum in. It's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your July 2020 reading. Thanks for all the views and likes and comments and everything. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'm glad that it resonated with you. It, it helped you, you know. Um, I just want to mention something that I noticed that I was doing lately. I should do a video on it too. But, you know, I smudge every time. It's just gone out, my smudge here. And I smudge every time I do readings at all. You know, whether they're in person or on the phone or for you guys. And so when I smudge, I smudge my hair, my mind, my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my my heart. <laughs> and I smudge a little bit like I kind of just cleanse myself off. But I also smudge myself where I've had any trauma. So it's a good idea to do that. Like if you've had a, like heart trauma like health thing if you've had any sexual um trauma you know you can smudge down here um wherever you may have had trauma you can smudge that spot that area too and to tell you the truth ever since i started doing it it's helped me a lot it's helped me a lot I don't know exactly how it works, but it does. So I just wanted to pass that along, okay? So let's get to your reading, Aries. Um, I hope everyone is okay out there. Um, woo! <laughs> Look at that. I think they're ready, for starters. I, I'm going to give them another shuffle because I'm just not sure where to put those cards. I think they probably belong on top somewhere. But anyway, um, right now I'm in town at my son's place, but I've been staying out at my trailer. I'm late. Um, I'm not late with these videos, but I skipped my middle of the month's cartomancy videos because I was building a deck at my trailer. And the deck is like 18 by 10 you can look on my community tab if you want to see a picture of it i'm very proud but i really had to focus on that and get that done because i'm famous for like having six projects and none of them are done so i really had to focus on that and get that done so sorry about that <laughs> but anyway uh that's what i was doing and i gotta tell you just being out there away from all this fear um like everything we're fed through radio tv media um even people we talk to um it's all fear oh did you hear this and they're gonna you know the 5g and the and the the virus and and our our politicians are doing this and doing that and and it's all about fear and anger and keeping up upset and i noticed when i got away and i went out to the trailer and i didn't have any tv or even radio influence i just sat in quiet for a lot of the time um i have just calmed right down i've calmed that's the wind blowing the laptop <laughs> um I just calmed right down and and all that isn't clouding my thinking you know I'm trying to just think clear about stuff and sensible not be influenced by all that um that fear influence is what it is it's just not for me so let's get back to you Aries I'm gonna pull my table back a bit further so you can see what's going on here okay so in your past you have the seven of cups i'm going to give you a few extra cards too because i skipped that middle of the month thing ten of swords five of cups the empress and the six of swords 
that's good to see at the end of this line to tell you the truth because it looks like you've been going through some difficult times perhaps with a mother figure around you whether it's um the mother of your children your mother someone's mother you could have been um, going through some sort of a difficult time with a mother figure um, i'm going to get into it more don't worry but i just want to take out all the cards first so in your present you have the three of cups the high priestess the ten of sword oh two of swords correction nine of pentacles and the five of rods that's looking better than there and in your future you have the knight of pentacles the three of swords the four of pentacles the chariot and the four of cups look at this card it took some damage it got a little a little worn here but i i don't mind when that happens because sometimes that gives me more right gives me more but anyway let's get back so in the past you know seven of cups it seems like you had or you know you had a lot of options and you might have been spreading yourself thin just like what i was talking about having five projects and none of them are getting done because you're you're spreading yourself thin and not really focusing on any one of them really you kind of got a little bit of focus there and a little bit of focus there and so the, this card tells us that we need to focus. We need to pick a, a few of these options and really focus on them. Um, and then you have the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is about um, completion. There's some sort of painful situation that you were going through that is over now. It's over because you got up and walked away. You're wounded. You know, see him walk. Oh, the darn cards. See him walking away and he's dripping blood. He's wounded, but he's not laying there taking it anymore. He's moving on finally. So you're moving on, Aries, and, and leaving a painful situation once and for all. I think you do have options. You know, you do have options and um you're deciding to move on you know um i think you do feel lost though there's loss there's probably pain you know it hurts it hurts to leave something behind you could be a little bit depressed worried that what you want is out of reach but it isn't it isn't okay and then um like i said some sort of difficulty with a mother figure this is the empress she's the mother of all you know um she's very usually very abundant um she's also got a plan of her own you know nature's plan of how things are gonna go and um she's probably very protective of her family and those around her um and is um you know wanting to make sure that they are looked after it, there could there could be some difficulty in a relationship with your mother a mother figure um perhaps you know there this is what the the painful situation is but anyway you're moving on you like me wanted to move out of all this turbulent water the drama you know the the conflict and and you're moving toward more peaceful calmer waters you could be literally moving you know away um wanting to get away and it looks like you could be protecting someone wanting to protect someone from all that all this drama and conflict and pain right so you're doing a good thing um you could be a mother yourself aries this could be you you're you know you're the mother and and you need to 
um, nurture and protect your children, your family, those around you, those you love and care about. And you want abundance in your life now. You have options. You can. You don't have to sit around and crap, you know. You don't. So you have decided. You've moved on. You've sought out peace. All right. Now, in your present, Three of Cups, there's something to celebrate here. The, the Three of Cups is initial success. It's showing um, promise. Something is showing promise here, okay? And the, the um, you know, you could have a lot of support from your friends. You know, they might be congratulating you on making this choice. Um, you could you could be going to visit family friends or something and and getting together and just you know spending some time together and um getting that support you know but there could be something well i think it's what you're doing your choices it's really showing promise and people are celebrating they're supporting you this was the right thing to do now the other thing is you have the high priest the high priest is a very powerful card because it's about trusting your instinct, Aries. Okay. And your instincts, your gut, you know, your, your gut feeling on this. Just go with it. You don't need to convince everybody else of your, what, how you feel about it, but you need to protect yourself because of, you know, uh, the way things have gone down in the past. So you really attune uh, to your instinct right now. And the other thing too um, is that there's something about timing here. It may not be the right place or time and there's a right place and time for everything. And sometimes it's not the right place and it's not the right time. And so you're waiting for that opportunity, that right moment to make your move. Okay. However, there's something, you, there's a choice that you have to make that you don't want to face. And you, you, <laughs> you really can't make a move until you make this choice. It's, these swords are right in the doorway. So where are you going to go? Every time you open the door, this is what you see. And it's like you can't really get around them, you know, to get out. So you got to deal with it at some point, right? But you're waiting for the right time. You know, you're waiting for the time to be right. You don't really want to face it. And also you could be sort of, you know, how you wait to the last minute to get to your report done and then you cram the thing and get it done. And it's kind of like you're waiting till you have to deal with this kind of thing you don't want to for you it is not the right time um what this is that you don't want to face there could be a third party involved here could be another family member could be someone in the neighborhood, a friend, and it could be um, someone's um, someone's influences here. I can see. All right. Now the Nine of Pentacles is here, and so this could be you. You could be single now. You know, this is the single card. This is independent and confident, though. You're not down and out. You're not sad. And, you know, woe is me. You're confident. You're thinking, I've done a lot. I'm, I'm great just how I am. I, uh, I am a competent person. I've, I'm good looking. I'm, um... I have done, you know, I've got, I've gained my own stability. Like she's gotten, she's very grounded now, you know, and it's spiritually too. And that's how you, you know, your, your feelings, how 
how, how you feel about yourself and how you, um, like, it's like believing, you know, what you're believing, right? And that part is very good. The feminine, I could be talking to some feminine Aries out there because there's a lot of feminine energy here. And, you know, you could be the mother figure. You could be um, independent now and on your own. And you're like totally fine with it. Totally fine with it. And then you have the five of rods. And this is, you know, stiff competition. Like this guy's on his own and he, the other guy's got everybody supporting him. The family and the, the girlfriend or boyfriend and, you know, everybody at work or whatever. This could be everybody at work too. You feel like you're standing alone. You're up against everybody here. And they see you as vulnerable, you know, as a kitten, as someone that they can, um, uh, you know, you're, they see you maybe not as naive, but as vulnerable. Okay. And you're not, <laughs> you're not, you're very strong and grounded and feeling good. You know, you're feeling good and confident. Um, I think you really are getting a feeling of you knowing who you are. I could be talking to men, you know, I'm talking to all kinds of Aries out there. But there's strong feminine energy around you, I'm going to say. You may have a lot of females in your family, a lot of sisters or something like that. But whether you're male or female... You could find yourself single, but you're feeling good, confident, um, and um, like the sun, that sun behind you on your back, your, it's strength, it's strong, okay? It's very strong. Like that well is made of stone and it's full of water. It's strong, okay? So you're strong enough to face this. You know, you are not intimidated. That, look at that cat. He's ready to jump on the table. He's not intimidated. Not one bit. But looks kind of innocent in a way or, or naive perhaps. Um, in your future, you have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is um, all the knights are ready to take action. They're, they're about taking action. However, this is the slowest night of all of them because he's very careful. You know, he takes his time. He's not in a big rush. <clears throat> he wants to check all of his, all his P's and Q's and his cross his T's and dot his I's and all that before he goes into this. He can see he has a lot of optimism and he can see he knows that he'll get there. Okay. But he wants to take his time. He wants to be careful and practical and sensible about it. And this is you, Aries. You're you're taking your time, right? Again, back here with this high priestess, another female card <coughs> is timing. So then we have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is heartbreak in, and and it, and it's deception. There's a lie here is the biggest thing for me. Three of swords is, is a lie. Someone <laughs> um, someone has been deceived here and it's come out now and this it's funny because this two of swords back here, the thing that you didn't want to face is now out. It's out. And it has, it's, it's coming down the line now. And someone's walking away. Someone's leaving. They feel heartbroken. They feel deceived. And they feel lied to. So I don't know if that's you, Aries, or the other person. But, um... 
I think you've got a new plan already. You could have been stashing some money away already because I have a feeling that you knew this was coming down the line. And, and like I said, you didn't really want to face it at the time. It wasn't the right time or something. Um, it's kind of funny because if you look at this moon behind him, it looks like an eclipsed moon to me. Um, but this is stashing, stashing, hoarding money, hoarding goods, hoarding stuff for that rainy day for when you need to prepare. You're preparing, you know, like a squirrel starts to prepare for the winter and starts to hoard all the nuts and all that. So, you know, you, you're preparing, um, I think you're going to take off to tell you the truth. I think you're going to take off and leave. I think you're going to, I think you're looking for something different now. Uh, I, I think you were very unsatisfied with the way things were going um, before. I think you're very hurt. I don't think it's something that you can get over, you know, it pretty much sliced it right down. Um, and you know, you have, you know, in your mind that you have an alternate plan. You have plan B. And, and so here is the chariot and the chariot indicates travel. It indicates moving. It indicates getting real, really getting your stuff together. Like back here, you were out of focus, right? Out of focus. You, you were um, very th spreading yourself very thin. And here you are completely together. You got everything together and you're, um, you want happiness. You want success. You want to expand more. You know, and that doesn't surprise me. Aries being, Aries being a fire sign, you know, you're about expansion, right? And this is exactly what you're going to do. I don't think, um, I think you're kind of done with facing any more drama or conflict. I think this is at home and at work, to tell you the truth. I think it's, you, you could feel surrounded by it, but anyway... And you need to get away. So this, uh, you could go get away a little bit with your child or with someone else. Just get some time away. And then down here, this is you, you know, riding into the sun. Um, and then the last card is Four of Cups. And this is Dissatisfaction not being um, satisfied with what's being offered here. You know, you're, and I have a feeling you may not be for a while. You may not be ready for relationship for a little while. You, you've gone through a lot here, you know, and, and you might need some time before anyone that does present themselves that you even give a second look to. There's probably a lot of people, you know, stepping up and saying, oh, so-and-so single, oh, geez, oh. And you're, you're just not interested right now. I don't think you're interested right now in um, hooking up again with anyone serious you know, uh, you got pies being brought to you and, or, you know, the neighbors fixing your cars <laughs> and you're like, you're just not feeling it. You're not feeling, I don't think you're ready right now. You need time. I think you need time. Um, I think you need time to process some of the stuff that you've been through. You know, they say it takes two to three years to really get over somebody. And it's true. You know, you can think in six months, oh, I'm over them. I hate them. Well, if you still hate them, you're not over them. You know, there's, there's, 
Um, I don't really necessarily think there's feelings still there brewing, but I don't think you're ready to open up to love again yet. Okay, you need time. And I think you need time to yourself to just explore, you know, explore the world, explore your options, whatever, you know, and yourself, right? You're feeling really good about yourself. I like that these three cards, you can't see this Empress up here, but these three cards, the sunlight is in them all, you know. And this is what you're focusing on now, your plan, not somebody else's plan. You've lived that long enough. Now it's your plan. What do I want? What do I want? You know, so you got to look at your, your star map again and kind of, it, it might take some time to figure that out. You may need to go and explore a little bit, you know. So, um, I think that's good for anyone, you know, anyone to do that. So anyway, Aries, there it is in a nutshell. Um, I think this is not something you really asked for. I think you were hurt by this, but I think you're on the mend for sure. And you're going to feel good about yourself. And, um, I think that, um, you're going to move ahead slowly. It's slowly. It takes time, right? It takes time. And that's what that night is about. The slow action. That's that slow action. You, I think you want to be on your own for a while. You're not in a rush to get in another relationship. All right. So. If you like this video, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all of it. It's all free, and it helps me a lot. Um, I'm going to have a sale soon, too. And I don't know if it's going to be a sale on readings. It might be a sale on something else. I might offer something unique to celebrate 20,000 subscribers. So... Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate your patience when I go off and do some of my other projects. I need that creative stimulation, though, you know, and I'm sure you can understand where I'm coming from, Aries. So I really appreciate it. Um, anyway, talk to you soon and uh, take care. Bye now.